remember that, that uh, we have a different type of materials. Uh, we have a aqualoy, aqualoy 22, aqualoy 19, aqualoy 17, and uh, we have a tobin bronze, we have a stainless steel, we have different type of materials. Depending on the material and depending on the diameter of the propeller, we are going to calculate uh, the diameter of the chaff. The material for the chaffs are normally monel, monel 400, and uh, monel 500. There are other type of materials like a uh, tobin, tobin bronze, and a uh, naval bronze. Those are special alloys authorized for the fabrication of the chaffs for propulsion systems. Those chaffs are not zero corrosive. Those chaffs are no magnetics. Those chaffs are uh, high, high tensile strength. This, uh, this chaff is a special material. If this chaff is bended, I don't recommend try to straight the, the chaff in a hydraulic press. If you disassemble, this is the typical mechanical stuffing box with seal, with seal packets. With seal packets, this one. When you open, when you open this element, you found it over there, the seal. The seal is a square. Is normally is, is a special fiber impregnated with a graphite like this, or impregnated with an animal grease, with fat. Can I replace my traditional mechanical stuffing box for any of those, for the velo systems, or uh, for the PTS system? Yes, you can. It's simple. The idea is remove the stuffing box. You can remove the stuffing box, you remove the, the coupling, and you remove the stuffing box. Or in the other side, you remove the propeller, the strut, the flange, and, and you introduce the new, the new stuffing box. We are going to install this one, the PTS. There are boats with a single strut like this, or uh, with double strut. The strut is uh, the element that uh, keep the chaff aligned in between the engine and the propeller. The strut internally have a bearing. The name of that bearing is the cutlass bearing. The cutlass bearing is located here. The cutlass bearing is, is uh, on place because those set screws. There are different types of set screws and a different type of struts like this. Uh, look at this special uh, uh, cutlass bearing. Wow. The cutlass bearing is part of the strut. Look at the strut of this boat. It's huge. This is the cutlass bearing. And uh, look look at the set of screws. Set screws yeah. Those are the set of screws to remove the cutlass bearing. And this is the chaff. Look at the chaff. The chaff. It goes all the way in there. And uh, uh, the coupling, the coupling, the transmission is over there. The coupling is, is located here. Yep. And those are the cutlass bearing. What happened with the rudder? The rudder, in the chaff of the rudder, the rudder used the same stuffing box, exactly the same stuffing box used in, a, in the propulsion system on the chaff. Normally, the stuffing box located on, a, on the chaff of the rudder is the mechanical stuffing box with the sealed packets that I explained to you, the procedure to replace that, uh, that uh, uh, package. Yes, this is a other element where it's possible that the water penetrate and enter in, in the boat.